Hey, hey friends, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff, back with another sublimation tutorial. Today we are going to sublimate pens. This is a relatively easy project. Pens are not very expensive and you can customize them in so many ways. I will also show you how to add a name if you would like, as well as how to wrap the transfer around the barrel so you get a really good image. Of course, I have a free file for you today. You can grab these cute gingham pen wraps over in my craft library. Go to heyletsmakestuff.com slash library, and there you can request the password if you don't already have it, and log into the library. Once you're in the library, there are two ways to find this file. This file is number S33, so sublimation 33. You can find it by clicking the sublimation button, and that will take you down to the sublimation section where you can find S33. You can also find it using the find function on your computer, control F if you're on a PC, command F if you're on a Mac, Mac, search for S33 and you'll be taken right to the file. From there, you're going to see three links. The first link is the download. Click it and it will download the file to your hard drive. The second link is the blog post for this video if you'd like to read more. And the third link is this video. Now let's talk about what you're going to need to sublimate pens. So I actually have some sublimatable pens. You'll buy actual pens made for sublimation. They have a metal barrel. So instead of a plastic barrel, which is what a lot of pens have, these actually have a metal barrel. And because these are sublimation pens, they should come with the world's tiniest shrink wrap. So I have a bunch of the small little pieces of shrink wrap here that are made to work with these pens. You're also going to need an oven. So basically you can't do pens in a flat press or like a tumbler press or a mug press. So you are going to need an oven that you have set aside specifically for sublimation. So I have an oven that was designed for sublimation, but you can also use something like an air fryer. The big caveat here is that you can't use the oven that you're using for sublimation for food as well. You are going to need something that you've set apart to do sublimation in because the toxic fumes that are emitted when you actually go to sublimation sublimate something, we'll get into your food and you don't want to eat that. You're also going to need some heat resistant tape, some alcohol and a microfiber cloth, some heat resistant gloves, and then I also found a weeding hook to be really helpful for removing the shrink wrap after it comes out of the oven. Of course, you're also going to need your transfer. I basically printed out all six on one piece of paper here, and then I find a paper trimmer really helpful for trimming it down. I'm going to make one of these plain pens here in a few minutes, but first let's pop into Cricut Design Space and try adding a name to one of these files. In Cricut Design Space, you're going to want to upload the file that you want to put on the pen. Once you've uploaded it, click Continue. There's no background to remove, so click Continue. And then we have this new screen here where you can decide whether or not you want it to be in multiple layers, a single layer, or a flat graphic. For this one, we're going to choose Flat Graphic. And then you can rename it if you'd like and click Upload. Now, despite the fact that I have designed these files in the right size for these pens, they are coming into Cricut Design Space too large, so we will make them smaller here in a bit. Um, but to start, we want to add our name. So I'm going to go to the text tool and I'm going to write my name. Now I'm going to resize it. And now I'm going to put it on my pen. So I have found that if I put it on about two thirds of the way up, um, it works really well for being kind of away from the seam, but you can still see it when you're using it. I could leave it like this, but I'd like to make it a little fancier. So I'm going to choose offset. I'm going to give it a very small offset here, just like that. I'm going to click apply. Now, of course, I don't want that offset to be black, so I'm going to change it to white. And you can keep your name black or whatever color you would like. I'm going to change it to that same green as the background. And then I'm going to take the whole thing. I'm going to select the background and my name and I'm going to choose align uh, center horizontally. And that way it is horizontally aligned within my pen here. With everything selected, I'm going to click flatten. Now that everything's flattened, we can change the size of our image. So for this one, I want my width to be about four inches. That's just slightly longer than my pen. And that's it. We're going to click make. And then on the prepare screen, we are going to mirror it. You can move it back around wherever you'd like. Of course, you can add way more um, images here if you would like. I'm just gonna use one piece of paper for this whole thing. And then I'm gonna click continue. And from here, I'm going to click send to printer. And I'm gonna send it to my brother sublimation printer. And I'm gonna click print. All right, in the overhead view here, you can see that I have this one that I already printed out with all of the pens. And then this one with Cricut Design Space, it does have those registration marks. We're not gonna be cutting this on the Cricut today, so I am just going to cut this out using my uh, paper trimmer here. All right, so in the overhead, you can see that I picked the yellow one and the green one here to go with my little blue and pink I've got going. So now we're gonna disassemble our pens so that we can sublimate them. So you're basically just gonna turn and screw off this bottom piece here. And you're gonna pull that off 
And then you can pull off this top piece. It all just sort of slides out. Make sure you don't lose any of these pieces here, especially this little spring. I feel like it can go flying. So let's see, we're gonna pull both of these apart, just like that. And then we're gonna push it from this end and we can pull the whole thing out. Again, we're just being really careful not to lose any of the small pieces. Now we need to clean our blank. So I'm just gonna get a little alcohol on my microfiber cloth here. And I'm going to clean each blank. This will make sure we have a really great transfer. All right, so now we're gonna add our transfers to the barrels. And this is sort of a combination of the way that Angie Holden wraps tumblers and something I just came up when I was trying to figure out a better way to do this. So to start, we're gonna flip our first image over here and you can see this in the overhead. I'm gonna add a piece of tape that's about the same length here to the top edge, just like this. Basically want it to be right up against the edge. And this is because this is slightly larger than the circumference of our um, barrel here. And it will overlap a little bit. And sometimes when you overlap a sublimation image, it can bleed through. And so that tape is gonna help it from bleeding through. So we're basically going to wrap this now. We just kind of wanna get the shape of, you know, the rolled paper here. So I'm just kind of making it sort of a rolled shape, just like this. Now on the side that is not the taped side, so on the other side, we're going to add three small pieces of tape halfway on the paper here. So can you see this here? We're gonna add three small pieces of tape, just like this. Then we're gonna grab our barrel and we're going to roll it. So we're basically going to roll it up here. And I find that this is so much easier than trying to tape individually. We get all three pieces of tape on there at once. So we're gonna roll it as tight as we can. And then we're just gonna kind of roll it over and keep rolling, just like that. And that gets all three pieces of tape on there really well. Let's do the same with the other one. So I'll flip it over. I'm gonna grab that long piece of tape, add it to the edge. This will help it keep it from bleeding through, just like that. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna kind of get this sort of shape of the barrel here. This just kind of helps the memory of the paper know what it's supposed to do when we go to roll it here in a second. We're gonna add our three small pieces of tape to the back, one in the middle, and then one on each side. And now we can roll our barrel. So we're gonna kind of tuck it all in, in there, make sure we're holding it tight, and we're just gonna roll it, just like that. I mean, it really does work so much easier than trying to do each piece of tape individually. Now, when you order your sublimation pens, they should come with this specialized shrink wrap. So we're gonna grab two pieces of shrink wrap here. We're gonna open them up and we're just gonna place our uh, barrel inside the shrink wrap. Now, a lot of tutorials will have you pre-shrink the shrink wrap with a heat gun. However, I have found that for 99% of projects, it's just not necessary and I'm not gonna do extra work. So I'm just gonna put these in the oven as is. The shrink wrap's gonna shrink right up. They're gonna be in there for five minutes at 375 degrees. Halfway through, I'm gonna reach into my oven while wearing my heat resistant gloves and I'm just gonna roll them over so that both sides are getting baked evenly. If you prefer using a heat gun to pre-shrink this shrink wrap, go ahead and do it. But honestly, give it a shot without, you could save yourself some time. All right, I pulled these out of the oven and they actually stuck together, so we're gonna have to kind of peel them apart somehow. Um, I do have them on a heat resistant mat, though honestly, they're getting to the point where I could probably even touch them. They cool down really quickly. So we want to remove this shrink wrap. This is very silly that they're stuck together, but you know, that's what it's like making a video. So I wanna be able to pull this off. I find that the, um, the weeding hook is really helpful here. Oh my goodness, this is very funny. You can also grab a little pair of scissors, that can help. All right, these turned out pretty good. You can see that I do have a seam on them because this isn't a seamless pattern. Um, but overall, they sublimated really nicely. I will say when they were stuck together, I tried pulling them apart and I actually bent this one. So we're gonna see if we can get it on the actual pen here. It's kind of annoying. Um, so we're gonna slide this back on just like this. And then we have this 
tip here. This is kind of what I'm worried about. We're gonna see how this goes. Oh good, we got it on there. So I probably wouldn't sell this one if I was making these to sell because it does have that tiny little dent in there. Um, but overall, super cute. Let's add this one here with my name. Uh, hello, so cute. Add this on. Just like that. So with this style pen, if you just loosen it up a little bit, you can change where the actual um, clip here is. So you can keep it away from the name. You don't have to actually think about where you're putting it on that barrel. Some of the other pen styles you will, um, but with this one, you can put it wherever you'd like. So we're gonna put it right there so that when I set it down, I can see my name. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make sublimation pens. If you have any questions, of course, leave those down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Follow my channel for more sublimation cricket and laser content. I'll see you next time.